Yo. How's it going? Yeah. Just wanted to make another video here. And I saw a report on the on the news feed about Dr. Wilmar Johnson and that he's selling the school. And it, it was someone had a couple people, about three or four people, had on the YouTube feed. And I, I wanted to chime in on this one. And you know, some some people I know they want to believe in some people that that they, they, they really swoon and crafted with their words. But no this despite have, having all the proof, having all the evidence, people still did not believe that this man uh, was a fraud. But this guy uh, put put puts the letter on his website telling that he possibly getting rid of the buildings and getting ready to school, but at the same time he wants to go over to to, to part of Africa. Guess wants to go to Africa, but at the same time he wants people to support his book and buy his his material. Now the material that he, he was supposed to buy was supposed to fund the school. Now he don't want to fund the school. He wants to steal a school in Africa. And so now he wants to get rid of the building where people invest about 10, well, about 10, almost 11 years of their hard-earned money to give to this guy. This guy, is a, he's a character, man. I mean, and some people are, are denying and they still want to believe he's like this this uh this this kind of this guru this this genius you know for, as far as the, his supporters concerned and it's really messed up that you know <laughs> that he pulled the wool over so these people over their eyes i mean they give this guy people all together over the past 10 years gave him seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and part of it, he bought the school with it. Now he's trying to, now he's coming to realization that he can't, that it's too much for him to renovate the school. Not only that, that he owned taxes, taxes on the school. And now he's trying to run it, go to Africa, buy some land over there, and probably do this, do some stuff over there. And I hope you don't think he's gonna run that scam on the people over in Africa, cause that that's the wrong place to run some some scam over there, cause they they they'll deal with you harshly over there. Yeah, but uh, you ain't gonna run that that no kind of game over there. But it's just that some people that they are totally different atmosphere of people. They know over in Africa is someone running game or not. There's someone gonna catch on to it. You be trying to build a so-called school, but at the same time, once you build up a school, take the funding funds from his book, like when he goes to these book signings, and build up a school in Africa. And so basically, basically in a nutshell, the guy is trying to basically skate his way out. And he's, I mean, he's using all these crafty terms and big old philosophy terms. And people, there are some people, they still don't get it. He's not, he's not going to open, now he's really not going to open up the school. He was bullcrapping people just, well, just for them to send the money. So you, you can say at the last minute, he's going to take most of his things and go, and go to another part of the world and take your money. And go build up a school in Africa. I mean, all the people who's most people who are limited income here. It was some people they and they will harass the people and call the people out because it, for calling him out for being a fraud. And now they they started to see that it all crumbled. Now he's trying to get rid of the, the, the same school building. Oh man, 
It's just hilarious. I mean, it's, it's hilarious. I was like, man, but people still fall for the okie doke, man. Thinking that he's that Messiah figure that he going He's trying to be king consciousness. Yeah, he king consciousness, all right. He king consciousness himself over there without your money. Wow, man. And uh, they come back and hear that. And so now he wants to stay relevant in the community. Uh, go back to the same community of people to support his book. So he is, so they put money in his appetite so he can go and, and, and leave the country. <laughs> so you pay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's get <coughs> let's get this straight. He took all. He go back to the same people who he asked money for, to the donations and everything. Then they go build up a school. Then then he makes some some long screw, screw letter. There's a couple of people have this on their their YouTube channel, explaining why he has to get rid of some of the the, the one part is the Marcus Garvey building and everything. And uh, basically, he's trying to he's trying to get out of it. <laughs> and he go back to the same communities of people who he's like, come on, run them donations, run them donations, run them donations. Now he go back to the same community, ask for money for people again to fund his books, so you can pay for a trip for him to go over, you, so he can be cool, uh, cool with whatever. Upon day over there in, in Africa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. And people still defended him too. <laughs> he took the people's money. He bought the rough rough shower. <laughs> I mean, it's, the, it's some of the skits that some of these people have on the channel, they, they, they know, they say, man, you, man, you phony, you fake, man, and they call them out, man, say, you, you took these people's money, you know, trying to run, oh, man, that's crazy, that is the craziest stuff I've ever, ever saw, I mean, you can't get no worse than that, I mean, I said, that's take a lot of nerve, and that if someone comes to go to every black community in America, you know, get from greatest, some people who are great small, loan, get, donate the money, and then turn around months later and say he got to get rid of the buildings. And they go so he can build up a school and buy some land in Africa. So basically, you just gave him enough money not to build a school, but Whatever money he can, if he do get rid of the buildings, he gonna take that that money and, and go to Africa with, on your money. Offer those women with the single mother with the checks. And he went now, and he really was. It sounded like he wasn't really tend on building a school. He was basically bullcrapping, and now he's trying to make up the letter, boy. And yeah, people still support me. I mean, it's like, wow. I mean, so so black people want a leader so bad that they can't see what's in, in the eyes. And you, you don't know what a good leader is. I mean, you know, you got somebody just because they talk, make all the talk and educational points. And it's like, man, what does a person's actions show? Then the guy don't have, then he, you know, he's getting people to donate their money, but... What is he? What is he doing about making ways that he can pull money to contribute with the money that his donors had gave him? So to make it seem like, hey, yeah, I'm white richie because I I can, can, can contribute twenty, thirty thousand dollars out of my can, account that I raised up from my, you know, my lectures and my books. But no, he read it for you to pay for it, and then turn back around and it's. And just and run this game like yo, you're gonna pay for it if you go to my school and stuff like that. Then he gonna dictate to you how the way he go, what he gonna do to your children once they get to the to the school. I mean, 
and people just was up on this bed. Yeah, go ahead, my brother. Yeah, yeah, you my brother. Yeah, yeah, your brother just from another mother just taking off to another part of the world. I mean, this dude, man. I like, wow, man. And and it was one dude that said, he called it out years ago. He's he gonna take that money and run. And the dude, he said this months ago. He 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 had the proof. He said on video, yeah. Come to find out, he was right. He's I told him that they was gonna. You know, what's his intention was to go take gonna take that money and go to Africa. When I get when I, the the big thing is to tell people to open gonna open up a school here, but really, I think he cut come to understanding that it was cost more to open up the school because he got to pay the taxes and he didn't want to pay a tax want to give what oh, oh, was a hundred grand on the school in taxes then that's just a hundred grand then you figure you have to they pay for the renovation of the school I mean all the electrical and plumbing and everything and now you try to get some people to buy the school and you're gonna probably take that money if someone Come on, come along and buy off of him. He gonna take that money and jet over to Africa <laughs> with the, just people who invested all that money <laughs> over the ten twelve years. Doctor, uh, on, on the two day, whatever his name is, King Cole Conscious is a <laughs> and Big Papa, whatever. Go about to head overseas with your money. Wow, man. Then he go talking. Then it's like, then he tells, he gonna go be at places where he don't show up and then he didn't make arrangement for the people that didn't have his book signings there. You know, he, <laughs> then they got, some have got this on video showing that, no, he ain't coming to my restaurant. <laughs> I mean, this guy is, yeah, I'm gonna be in this part of the city, in this part of Atlanta, in this part of Detroit, this part of shit. Then you go to then someone called him and say, is Dr. Um Umar gonna be there? No, we don't we, we didn't rent, make arrangement with no Dr. Umar. What you talking about? We don't you know we don't know nothing about it. It's like, man, these guys, some of these guys <laughs> come to YouTube to, with that crazy mess, man. And they be trying to you talking about the ancestor? Yeah, the ancestors probably telling them if it was because they that telling you that Negro was lying. <laughs> Don't give nothing, and they probably slapped him across the head. Stop lying! <laughs> Stop lying! You ain't did doing doing nothing. If it, if it probably was some man said they probably slapped him in the bottom, back of his head, tell him stop lying. And I said, yeah, but he gonna get over there and in some part of Africa. Yeah, he gonna. Yeah, pull that game over there on them over there. Yeah, you gonna find something. You gonna find <laughs> probably gonna give you some jungle justice over there. <laughs> so run right, some some game over there. You gonna probably become ready to get come back to America because you ain't gonna run the game on no folks over there. They have seen every con scam and con coming their way. They got people that they skill at running games over there. <laughs> Especially in some places in Ghana, they <laughs> they got some people that can run some game over you. I see how the way they offer, how the way some people, some of the people I've seen in them countries, how the way they they, they, they do the romance scam and and the credit card scam and I can give you, you know, you, my 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 one of my relatives died and got fifteen pounds of gold and and you know. I need some help for you to send me some money. Oh yeah, they got some. They got some good ones over there for you. Ooh, I've seen some of the time. Yeah, if you can help me, send me some money because I need some food. Like, I'm like, what's wrong? You getting a relative? Well, my brother don't work. Yeah, he, he going. Yeah, so he going. He going to find out some stuff, boy. And if you don't watch it, if you do some fraud over there, they they give you some time over there. Cause you be in another country, and you do some fraudulent overpriced in Ghana somewhere. <clears throat> they probably give you a serious punishment. They don't play that. They kick you out the doggone country. <laughs> you know. You know. Wow, man. But yeah.
again. It's, it's sad. It's messed up. It's so it's hilarious, man. Like, dang, people, don't you see that this guy's running the game on you? The first, he, it, it took him ten years to raise up the money, telling the people keep donating, keep donating, keep donating. Then all of a sudden, oh, well, we're gonna have to sell part of the building. And then he didn't waste the bought the doggone building. And now and then they said on the one website he's trying to get rid of the, some of the building. Because he, cause he, cause he found out he, he had to pay the government taxes on that building. And people fell for it. <laughs> and then the, pe they get, then the people who, who's defending them, they get mad at the people who are trying to let them know, hey, you just got screwed with, 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 without the Vaseline, so to speak. <laughs> you get screwed pretty bad, man. And they, they still defending this dude. He took some of them single mother's money and the ones he called with the crazy checks and deposited in his own account and want and want to get over there. You know, he's trying to trying to clear the path. Then he then he said that he was so called trying to open one over there. In one video, showed that he he wants to come back here. He ain't come back here. Open up no school. <laughs> he go. He go in Africa. And say, hey, you, you come back to the United States? Well, my brother, yeah. Well, well see, I had to, I had to send some donations over here to my to my cash app. Oh, and next thing you know, you're gonna be sending sending some well apartment over there with some jacuzzi. Yeah. And so if they stupid enough to keep sending money to him, and they don't see by now that he plainly was he's not a man of his word. I mean, people, man, I mean, I mean, people are, there are different people are showing you this on their website. Was, I mean, he's constantly in, in about four or five, six people's feeds that they have made, they had made a, a dog, <laughs> they did made a comedy skit behind this dude. And they telling people, man, this guy's a fraud, man. And there was, there was one guy that actually showed, went to the site where he purchased the building, how much money, how much renovation, and what he, he does. Then some one person, then the same person put up the court documents, the IRS dark documents of, about it. And he's still showing peop, people that, hey, this is what he's going to have to do. That's why he's trying to get rid, rid of the building. So you got people trying to tell the people who, who so-called trying to support him, and they're just so blind because they want to believe in, in this so-called because he's so-called related to the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey and, and and all these other people. Then they come to find out the people that the the people who was the Bailey family said that he wouldn't even relate to them. <laughs> then I guess he tries to he's connected to Garveyism. And I don't think he related to no Garvey. I mean this guy, man. This is comical, man. I heard that I'll start busting out laughing, man. I'm like, well, jeez, man, these people paid all that money to school, <laughs> and people were trying to tell you, hey, man, you gonna skip, skip all you, man. Oh, man, he ain't gonna do that. He gonna be, and, and, and they didn't call it, they called everything. Now, now it showed that he's not gonna fulfill his promise, and people still, man, they still give him money to him. Wow, man. Some people are just brainwashed. Wow. I mean, after all the, the legitimate proof, one the one woman, Afro says, golly, she didn't pull, <laughs> pulled up the, the information and she didn't pull up the call, the, 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 the attorney general and everything. <laughs> if, if they put it on her video, they still, they still hating on that woman. And she is trying to show them. You know that even as she she does practice in with um, psychiatry and everything, she t tell them that this is the process. He's not being professional enough. Then he's telling people how to be professional. They have all these crazy courses, and come when it comes to when they look at his exam and like, how can you tell him about relationships and having kids when you, when your own kids is is. You're not a young kid's life. You're not supporting them. And 
Wow, man. And he so called come what and I said, what woman in a mind would want to get with a man that's not working but wants to play King Kong conscious? You know, he want he don't have he, he won't get a job in, in the measure of this field or get sub going <clears throat> but expect people just to fund his way and donate his way over to Africa, basically by buying his bogus books. These are, wow, man, some people just, they're just gullible, man. Man, it's like, wow. I mean, you see these people, they run all kind of games with you, man. There's someone, and it's not like one person pulling up the proof. You got about seven to eight people pulling up all this proof about, about the building, the taxes on on the building. One person pulling up about the flogging. And some, you have a couple people that try to, Mimic his ways. One dude, with Miss Bengali, she, she tried this. One dude tried to be a, a, a Umar Junior. Turned to find out, he tried doing that at his school. He ended up getting fired. Trying to operate under his kind of mindset. It's like wow, man. And it was, I mean, people pulling up. I mean, taxes and IRS and actually paperwork about the school.